guys, welcome back. Today's video is going to be what's inside my makeup bag. Now, you guys know I do a ton of what's inside my regular handbag or purse videos, so I decided to switch it up a bit. Next week, my husband is on vacation, so we are going away for a few days. So I already have my makeup bag kind of, or my travel makeup bag packed, so I wanted to share with you guys what I'm going to be bringing, especially like when I travel, what's inside my makeup bag. And now you're probably like, well, why do you already have your makeup bag? Bag packed if you're traveling next week well like in a couple days but whenever I travel or go on vacation whether it be two days or a week I get anxiety so I like to start packing a couple days or a week prior uh, sometimes like especially when we do our cruises I will pack like two to three weeks prior like I'll start like you know doing it slowly I have lists I have checklists things I need to bring I just get anxiety when I travel and I know it's sad even going away for like two days, but that's just the story of my life. I like to be super organized and prepared. So I pretty much have everything that I am going to be bringing on vacation with me for the next few days. So I figured I would share kind of like what's inside my travel makeup bag. But anyways, don't forget to subscribe to my channel, hit the like button and the notification bell down below. And without further ado, if you guys like to see what's inside my makeup bag, then just keep watching. First off, I quickly just wanted to mention my makeup bag. I'm sure many of you are like, where is this from? And I believe my Walmart designer dupes video has gone up by now. I mentioned this bag in it and you would think that this would be their Daisy Rose but it's not it's this other seller or brand that is sold on Walmart that sells kind of like the Louis Vuitton inspired checker print but obviously it doesn't say Louis Vuitton anywhere but this brand is Luxuria and it also says Luxuria on the inside of the bag as well so I will link this down below I haven't done one of these videos in a while so you may want to grab a snack this might be a long one I'm gonna try to get through everything and I'm not going to like grab anything in any particular order. I'm just grabbing whatever's at the top. You will see some things. It's either going to be palettes or travel size items to reduce space or the amount of things that I need to bring with me. First off, I think I've mentioned this maybe in like one or two videos before, but this is the setting powder that I actually use on a daily basis. I have other setting powders that I use, but especially when I travel, I love to bring this with me. So this is the Hourglass Ambient Lighting Palette, and I love it because for traveling, it's great. I, I like to set my face or my under eyes with like kind of almost like a whiter, lighter shade than the rest of my face. So I use two different shades of setting powders, if you will. So this palette has three. I absolutely love this. I love these powders. They are so finely milled and they're just, they just feel they're so smooth. They're not really buttery. They're more of like a lightweight, smooth consistency, and they blend out really nice. So I like to use this middle shade for setting my under eyes. And then typically for most of the year, I will use this shade for setting my face. But with a tan this time of year, I will sometimes reach for this shade or kind of like mix these two to set the rest of my face. But again, I love it because I have both my setting powders in one palette. I would highly recommend these powders. Again, they're just so finely milled. They're beautiful. Now this palette, I did want, I think I bought this palette maybe like six months ago, I want to say, and it barely looks like I made a dent to it. And I use it all the time. I think it was like 50 or $60. So, you know, this is a little bit pricey, but it's so worth it. So I like to bring this palette when I travel for setting powders. So for foundation, if you watch enough of my videos, you're already going to know what it is. Pretty much, and actually, yeah, like the only foundation that I use, the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Foundation. Now, typically I just use the regular Photo Focus Foundation, or I guess it's called their matte version. I don't even know if they consider it a matte version, but they did come out with a dewy formula, which I've been using as of recently, and this is in the shade Desert Beige. That's typically the shade that I am for this time of year when I have a tan, but I do notice that they're dewy shades, and actually with any... Um, brand. I've noticed that they're matte and they're dewy shades. Even if it's the same color, there is a color variation. So the regular Photo Focus Desert Beige is a little bit darker than the dewy Desert Beige, but I'm just going to bring this one. I think it's fine. Um, if I was like going to the Caribbean or on a cruise, which I did back in February, then I would need the little bit darker or just the regular one, but I have been liking the dewy one. So this is the um, Wet Mild Photo Focus Foundation in dewy. And then for concealer, I have been loving 
loving this stuff. This is the Too Faced Born This Way Multi-Use Sculpting Concealer. I have been using this concealer like every day for the last, I don't even know, like six months or so. So this is the shade Light Beige. I do have a couple other shades. I think I have a shade darker than this for like if I'm like really tan, but Light Beige works for me right now. Okay, so I just grabbed a ton of eye products to share with you guys. So normally I would only bring one mascara. But say we go to the beach, I'm not going to be applying false lashes. So that's where this mascara kicks in, excuse me. I've mentioned this in a couple videos. I got it from Ipsy a while back and then I um, got it again. I use my uh, rewards points or my Etsy points to get this again, but it's the Thrive Cosmetics. It's not cosmetics. They say cosmetics, but it is their Liquid Lash Extensions Mascara. This is such an amazing mascara. I love it. It separate and separates and lengthens your lashes to make you look like you have falsies. If you haven't tried this, I would highly recommend it. So for days that I'm not going to be wearing lashes or like during the day when I don't have lashes on, that's what this mascara is great for. But then at night when I just need a regular mascara and I'm going to be applying lashes or doing my lower lash line, L'Oreal Telescopic, I've used this for like over a decade. I just absolutely love it. So I have two mascaras. Then my brow pencil, you guys already know, as of like the last, I don't know, four months, I've completely converted over to the NYX Micro Brow Pencil from the Anastasia Beverly Hills um, Brow Wiz, which I love, but I just didn't love spending $20 every month to like a month and a half. This is $10. So this is just in the shade taupe. Next is a felt tip liner. I like to do this to line my lash line, especially when I am wearing false lashes because it kind of, you know, conceals the band. And I just realized that I kind of skipped that step today. So hopefully it doesn't look too bad. I can't remember the last time I kind of skipped that step. I was just trying to like get ready and, you know, get this going here. I was in a rush, but, um, I typically always will line my lash line so that it kind of like hides the band. If I did a sloppy job applying my, um, you know, lashes, but this, I think I got in an Ipsy. It's a really good one. This is the Kat Von D tattoo liner. It's just a travel size, perfect for traveling. And then lastly, in this little bunch or handful that I grabbed, it's just a basic black, like coal eyeliner to line the inner parts of my waterline. I either will do a nude color, but I think for vacation and what I've been doing recently like today I kind of stop a little bit like halfway through and then I'll either put like a highlight right there So that's what this is for then in terms of fake eyelashes or false eyelashes I um, Just bought these for the trip. I won't use all of them I like to use one um, pair like two or three times and I know you're probably like, wait, you can do that? Yes, you can. You can just peel off the glue and you can reuse them. So that's what I like to do. So this is the Kiss number 11s. I have, or not number 11s, excuse me. Number 11s are definitely not as dramatic as these. These are the Kiss number 1s. And for reference, I'm wearing them today. They are becoming my favorite Kiss lashes. They're perfect. Even though they're really long, they're wispy. So they're not like too dramatic. And then for lash glue, this is the only stuff that I will use. It is by Duo and it is their um, dark tone or their dark lash glue. I don't do the white anymore. I just love the dark because even when it dries, um, it looks almost like it's like eyeliner and then you can peel it off. It's just great. So I like to use the dark duo lash glue. And then next is a palette. So like as I was saying before, I like to travel with palettes. This palette, I think I got in like one of my... Ipsy Ultimates or Ipsy Pluses last year and I've mentioned the bomb before on my channel It's just one of those underrated makeup brands. I absolutely love them I think I might have like one or two more products from the bomb um, to mention But this palette is so great and it's crazy because everything I'm going to show you in this palette I actually own individually so this is the in the bomb of your hands volume 2 and it's got a mirror, which is nice in case I need a mirror. You guys can see my camera and my ring light. But so we've got three blush shades if you, you know, needed three to choose from, which sometimes I like to have a variety, even if I'm going away for a couple days. So I've got three blush shades. These two blush shades I own already, Down Boy and Frat Boy. And I love the names, by the way. I already own these two and they're like pretty big blushes. So I love that I have like three options to choose from. Then if I want to contour, this is, and I actually have this too. This is um, Bahama Mama bronzer. I don't use this really as a bronzer because it's kind of more cool tone but to contour this is a perfect shade for 
four. So I've got blushes and then I've got a contour shade and then I've got all the eyeshadows that I would need. I mean, I go back and forth because I'm like, do I want to bring like another eyeshadow palette? But I'm like, you know what? It's only a couple days. I can create like, you know, a couple. It's probably like the same eyeshadow look I'm going to wear for a couple days, but it's fine. So what I like to do with this palette is I like to use this as a transition shade. And then if I don't want to smoke it out, I will just use this as a lid shade. And this is also a highlighter shade as well. This is the Mary Luminizer. I have the full size of it. It's a beautiful highlighter, but as a lid shade, it's also really nice. But if I do want to smoke it out and go a little bit more dramatic, I will use this shade right here in the outer V. And and then to line my lower lash line, line my lower lash line, excuse me, I will use this shade. So it's got all the shades that I would need to create a look. And then if I like say I forgot a highlighter, I could just use you know, this shade right here, but I actually have another highlighter to share with you. So I love palettes like this where there's like three. This could technically be a four in one, but I am bringing another highlighter with me. So this is what I'm using for blush and for eyeshadows. And then if I want to contour, I have that option as well. For bronzer, this has been one of my favorites for the summer. It's either MAC Give Me Sun, which I believe I have on today, or this one right here. This is the Hourglass Ambient Lighting Bronzer. And I have two shades of this. I have Radiant Light, but this is Luminous Bronze Light. So this is a little bit darker, which is perfect for the summer, perfect for when I have a tan. I actually purchased this, purchased this, excuse me, last year, and there's barely a dent in it. Now these are pricey. They're like, I don't know, a little bit over $50, but again, a little bit goes a long way. I've had this for over a year. It lasted me. And then I have um, Radiant, I think, yeah, Luminous Bronze is the darker. Radiant is a little bit lighter. I have that for like the winter and the spring when I don't really have a tan, but these powders are milled so nicely and they just glide across the cheeks. I am really a fan of the Hourglass powders. Then I've got some lip products, but let me go back to like face products first. So I have a mini, actually, I didn't even think I was going to bring this highlighter with me, but I forgot. When I'm traveling, again, if I have any travel size products, then I love to bring them. I don't remember exactly where I got this, but this is a little mini Becca, and this is their Opal Highlighter, but I think they call these like shimmering skin perfectors. So this is Becca Opal Highlight. It's kind of like old school, but these are just such amazing, amazing, excuse me, highlighters. I have the really big one, so I like that it's super small. It doesn't take up a lot in my makeup bag because the big one is like, I don't even know, like triple or quadruple the size of this. But let me kind of just like swatch it out so you guys can see. Like, let me just swatch it out again, hopefully. There you go. So like, if you guys can see, it just gives you such a beautiful glow on the tops of your cheeks. Um, and it's right there. I know it's kind of like hard to see next to like that eyeshadow stick, but it's right there. And it's so beautiful. It's more of like a kind of like beigey champagne highlight. And I tend to go for like the champagne highlight colors. I don't like really white and I don't like really dark. So this is just such a beautiful shade. So I'm actually fortunate enough to have the travel size version of this. And then let's see here to set my face and to prime my face. Cause I'm going to like a random order here, just grabbing what I see. So I've actually saved this bottle. I don't even remember where I got this. This is probably like four or five years old, this bottle. And what I do is I have the actual bigger bottle but I should probably mention the product first this is the Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray best setting spray that I own that I've ever tried if you are going in 90 degree weather or you want your makeup to last all night long or even into the next day for that matter this is the stuff your makeup's not going anywhere so I don't remember back to what I was saying I don't remember where I got this bottle but I saved it and then what I do is when it's empty I just pour my big bottle into this so I'm not bringing my big bottle so it's a little travel sized um, all-nighter setting spray that I have and it works perfectly for me and then this I probably got and I have like a ton of these by the way probably gotten like an ipsy or something but it's just a really mini size benefit pour professional primer um and then my um you know full size actually i think they make another size that's like even bigger than the regular full size but i just have like the regular generic um full size or regular size 
and it's like this big. So this is all I need. With primer, a little bit goes a long way. So it's this little baby tube. I love it. Perfect for traveling. And then I think the rest of these products, other than one, are all lip products. So this, um, I actually, as of recently, I started getting back into wearing lip liner. I kind of like stopped for the longest time, but I'm really picky when it comes to colors. My favorite color when it comes to lip liners is Max Soar. I have a couple other MAC lip liners, but Max Soar, and I'm going to swatch it out for you guys, it's just perfect. I absolutely love it. So I actually have it on today. I have a couple of them. But this is like a little baby size one. That's all I need. I don't need to bring, bring like a big pencil. Um, I actually should probably just sharpen it just in case, in case it gets kind of dull. So I have lip liner in case I want to use it. And then I have a couple lip products. Sometimes I get so indecisive with lip products when it comes to going away. So I was kind of trying to like consolidate it into like two or three lip shades. So first off, I get a lot of questions on my videos. Ashley, what lip color are you wearing? What lip, lip color are you wearing? And I want to say like maybe, I don't know, 75% of the time, it's going to be this color I'm actually wearing today. So you guys can see how amazing this color is. And it is by The Bomb. It is their liquid lipstick. This is probably my favorite liquid lipstick formula. I do not wear liquid lipsticks really anymore. I kind of just like fell off that bandwagon um, and I'm back to lipsticks. But this liquid lipstick shade is everything. I absolutely love it. It's not too overwhelming. It's pretty neutral. Um, so this is the Meat Matte Hues, and this is in the shade Sincere. So pretty much in all my videos, if you're wondering what's on my lips, it's this. I have it on today just with a gloss over it, and I have it with Max Soar Lip Liner as well. Absolutely love this stuff. And then for some lipsticks, when I don't want to wear liquid lipstick, um, again, I do put glosses over the liquid lipsticks. But... Um, for just regular lipsticks, I grabbed this one. It's just a pretty, like, neutral nude shade. It's um, Too Faced Pout about it. It's a really pretty nude shade, like I just said. I will swatch it out so you guys can see. Um, it's right there. And then the other lipstick that I decided to bring, and I cannot find where my MAC faux lipstick is because that's what I was going to bring. I got to find that, but I have MAC Brave. This is, like, my second favorite color. It used to be my favorite MAC lipstick, but it's just another. This is more of, like, a pinky nude lipstick, so I'm going to swatch it next to that Too Faced one so you guys can kind of see the difference. It's just, like, a little bit more of a pinky nude, but I have all the lipstick shades that I would need, so those are the lipsticks that I have. And then for gloss, I'm just going to bring this Fenty Beauty. It is their Gloss Bomb in the shade Fussy, and even though it looks, like, really pink, it kind of goes on, like, clear. I'm going to actually put a little bit on right now. It doesn't really go on too like pinky or anything. They have a couple shades of this, but I like this shade. So, um, and it kind of like really like smells slash tastes good. It's hard to explain, but these are really, um, good glosses by Fenty Beauty. So that is it for what's inside my makeup bag and what I'm going to be bringing with me. Hopefully I didn't forget anything, but I think that's generally like all I'm going to need. Again, brushes, I'm just going to smack on top and I'm not going to get into those because it's kind of sad how many brushes I need um, just to do my makeup in one day or even for a couple days. But it's nice because, like I said, even though this is empty right now, I have room on top to just throw them on there. So I really like the size of this makeup case. But anyways, let me know in the comments down below, what do you guys bring in your travel makeup bag? Do you bring similar things? Do you bring different things? Have you tried any of these products out? Or just generally, because a lot of you guys probably just have a makeup bag with all your makeup in it. What's inside your makeup bag? I would be curious to find out. But anyways, that is it for this video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. I hope you have a wonderful week and I will see you in my next video. Bye.